A deposit uh, in the uh, Katanga Copper Crescent, cop uh, Copper Mines of the Congo, famous for the large cuprites, the, the so-called red cuprites. I think with strong lighting one may see some red edges through here. Um, cuprite crystals sitting on a matrix, uh, basically sitting on a bed of chrysocholla. The, the, the pale blue to white material you see under the cuprites would be chrysocholas. From a display point of view, uh, on the back we have a, a fracture zone of the main crystal. If we go around like this. Um, what what I'd like to, to bring into prominence here would be the, the, the actual pyramidal form of the cuprite. So one could display it like this, or maybe even around like this. I actually quite enjoy this. This is how I've been looking at this particular specimen. It's always a, a, a matter of your um, how you perceive it. Uh, best. Now that section inside there I believe is not contact, it'll be what I call inverted botoids. So cuprite in a different crystal form, almost indentations, a plate of cuprite with indentations growing on those, <coughs> those two cuprite crystals, the, the larger ones. I'll see if we can zoom in a little bit on that section, um, have a closer look there. There we go, definite crystallization happening there, so that's not contact. All the way from the Mashamba West uh, mine in the Katanga Copper Crescent, Congo, the famous large, uh, the red cuprite on a bed of Krasakala.